celebrations erupted on the steps of the Supreme Court. Right after the decision was handed down. A men's choir led the massive crowd singing the national anthem. The Supreme Court was divided on the issue in a 5-4 split decision. Right-leaning Justice Anthony Kennedy wrote the majority opinion, saying, quote, No union is more profound than marriage, for it embodies the highest ideals of love, fidelity, devotion, sacrifice, and family. Saying gay couples ask for equal dignity in the eyes of the law. The Constitution grants them that right. Jim Obergefell, the lead plaintiff and face of this historic case, fought on behalf of his marriage to his now deceased husband, John. It's my hope that the term gay marriage will soon be a thing of the past, that from this day forward, it will simply be marriage. I love you. This is for you, John. And in an incredible moment, Obergefell received a phone call from the president while live on CNN. And I just want to say congratulations. Thank you so much, uh, sir. I think it was your uh, wishes. Your, <laughs> your leadership on this, you know, has uh, changed, changed the country. I, I really appreciate that, Mr. President. The U.S. is now the 21st country in the world to recognize same-sex marriage nationwide. This ruling will strengthen all of our communities by offering to all loving same-sex couples the dignity of marriage across this great land. The opposition to the decision was strong. Reading from the bench, Chief Justice John Roberts said, quote, do not celebrate the Constitution. It had nothing to do with it. And Justice Clarence Thomas said, quote, the court's decision today is at odds not only with the Constitution, but with the principles upon which our nation was built. But today, history was made on behalf of Jim Obergefell and all Americans who argue that marriage is a fundamental right for everyone. Today's ruling from the Supreme Court affirms what millions across this country already know to be true in our hearts. Our love is equal.